afternoon. Today I'm going to be talking about a book by Elizabeth Redneck called The Curse of Maleficent. My name is Maleficent, and I have done some things that I regret, like putting a curse on a lovely girl named Aurora. She was just a baby when I bestowed the terrible curse upon her. It was to take place when the sun set on her 16th birthday. She would fall into a sleep-like state after pricking her finger on a spinning wheel. No power on earth could change the curse. The only way it could be broken was true love's kiss. The reason I chose true love's kiss to break the spell was because I knew from personal experience there was no such thing as true love. Then the king sent three fairies to take Aurora deep into the forest, far, far away, from every spinning wheel in the kingdom, and from me, of course. They tried to keep her hidden away until after her 16th birthday. <laughs> they thought that would work, but those dummies couldn't raise a child, so I had to keep that beastly child alive, at least until the curse did what it was meant to do. Fifteen years had passed, and trust me, it was a long fifteen years. There was a time in her life she thought I was her... Um, so-called fairy godmother. I'll read you a page from the book to show you what I mean. broken arm like that. Yes. Okay, thank you. I know who you are, Aurora said, getting to her feet. The fairy took a step closer and raised one eyebrow. You do, she asked. Aurora nodded. You're my fairy godmother, she replied. A smile tugged at the corner of the fairy's lips. You're what? Aurora could see that the creature was trying hard not to laugh, but she didn't care. She knew it was true. Fairy Godmother, Aurora repeated, you've been watching over me my whole life. I have always known you were close by. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm not really the Fairy Godmother type, am I? But as time passed, the girl grew on me. As I, I tried to reverse the curse, I could not do it. Remember my words? No power on earth could change it. <sighs> not even my own. Oh, and speaking of powers, I've got some pretty awesome ones. Not to brag, but they're pretty cool. My favorite part of the book is when I turned a helpless little crow into a human and saved his life. So yeah, that took some skills. If you want to know what happens to lovely Aurora and her true love's kiss, read this great book and find out. And just a little hint, I'm a big part of the ending. I recommend this book to everyone who enjoys um, a wonderful fairy tale and a heartwarming love story.